All right then, hello guys. Today we're gonna be doing another Pico CTF challenge. And the challenge we're gonna be doing today is gonna be called Pi Time. So with this challenge it says, can you can you try get to get the flag beware? We have Pi. And then it says right here, additional details will be available after launching your challenges. And so we'll just clear this and do LS. So LS, oh, just clear this. So we just download the file. It says, give us one hint. Can you figure out a change between the address you found locally and in the server output? So this challenge says the program source code can be found here and the binary can be downloaded here. So if we download the source code, copy link address, so you get, we get bone C, so a cat bone C to see what this code is doing. So if we look at it quickly enough, we see, and we'll make it even nicer back, cat, bold, C. So with this challenge, it says, uh, there's sec fault. There's a win function where we're able to, I guess, read over the flag. And then we get the main function. So it says address of main. So it prints out the address of main. It says enter the address to jump through. And it asks us to enter an address. And I guess we get to uh, jump towards that address. So the whole point of this challenge is to jump from main all the way to the win function right here. So how do we figure this out so this is a basically easy challenge so what we could simply do is just get the addresses of both main and then win and find a difference between it and then what do they mean by pi so basically we could look it up by right here so what does pi mean in binary exploitation it's basically a way of making the addresses uh, random, I guess. If that's a good way of putting it. It's a position endpoint, which means that every time you run a file, it gets loaded into a different memory address. This means you cannot hardcore values such as function, addresses, and gadgets locations without finding where they are. So that's the thing. But what we could do, we usually when it comes to when, when you have pi, you have to initially find the find the the offset so what's the offset between the main value to our win function so we could simply find that just by going on right here and downloading the binary right here so we'll copy this copy this link address w get and that's gonna be bone so now we could do gdb bone and it's gonna run GDB. So now if we run uh, this sas main, we get uh, the main functionality, which should print out 133D. So now if we this sas win, uh, this, uh, this sas win, we get that it's out 0127. So that's where it starts. So what we could do is basically uh, subtract these two values. So 0, 1, 3D. We could whip out a calculator. And then just make that small. And we'll just go a hex. Programmer. Okay, that didn't work. Uh, let's see. Oh, let's go right here. Then whip out a calculator. So what if we type 133D, 133D, oh, 133, oh, hex, 133D, uh, um, minus, uh, our value right here, which is one, two, a seven. And then if we do that, it's basically 96. 96 is the value. So if we try exiting out right here, we know that it's 96 away. Our, our, uh, our main from our win. So if you go right here, exit, um, type exit right here. Now, if we try running ACH mod plus X to run as an executable, bone, and then now if we run bone, 
we get this is the initial address which is different from what we got right here but we know the offset is 96 so all we could do is just grab this right here and just add 96 so if you go right here and then we have a hex right there so we can just paste it oh that's not gonna work uh damn it can i just copy this right here Uh, uh yeah uh, this is a bad thing uh, i just look up a random hex calculator then the hex calculator calculator plus um 96 what's 96 in hex 96 is basically just 96 so 96 uh minus oh this will be the value right here so this should technically print out the win function see you won but we can't open the file because we don't have flag.txt so now if we run whatever the netcat is the netcat value which is right here copy it and then we go right here we get this value right here so now if we do 96 96 let me do this real quick changes right here copy it and we should get the answer and it says pico ctf you won and now we just copy this and we solve this challenge making it fun so usually when you have pi enabled you want to find the offset and that's usually what you end up doing for these challenges so submit it and we got this flag so yeah pretty easy hope you guys enjoy it i know i did and i'll see you guys in the next one peace